bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today is another wonderful day and we thank God for the opportunity to share his own adulterated word. I believe strongly that God will bless you by the ministration of his word. You shall be empowered. You shall receive grace and strength for the journey ahead of you. Wherever you are, please let us bow down our heads for a word of prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you for today and we thank you for the opportunity to be alive. We pray in the name of Jesus that you grant us understanding as we hear your word. Let the spirit of God fall upon us. Let the power of God fuel our hearts and our lives. By the ministration of your word, I pray that the sinner be saved, the sick be healed, the oppressed be set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Beloved, today as we journey with God, I want to share with you from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 to 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 to 10. And I'm reading from my Bible. So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me. To keep me from becoming consulted. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this. That he sh it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses. So that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Hallelujah. Child of God, this is a message from probably the greatest apostle in history, Apostle Paul. And we know the beginnings of Apostle Paul. He studied under Gamaliel. He was a Pharisee. He was a devout Pharisee. And he knew what he was doing. He persecuted the church when he was of age. And the Bible says that even on the day that Stephen was stoned to death, this man Paul was around. And he was the one who was helping the people who were stoning Stephen. Until one day on the road to Damascus, Jesus met him and said, So, so, why are you persecuting me? Beloved, the Bible says that when Saul responded, three days he was blind, but the Bible said that servant of God, Ananias prayed for him, he restored his sight, and then Saul, after studying and staying with God and receiving the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost, he became a preacher of the cross for so many years he ministered god's word he built churches he encouraged believers he was in prison he was beaten he was he, he was tortured so many times but paul held on this particular passage tells us that this man of god has so many revelations that he even taught that god put a thorn in his flesh so that he would not be puffed up and so he says that there was a messenger of Satan that was sent to me, a thorn in my flesh, because of the many revelations so that pride would not set in, so that I would not be puffed up. And importantly, the apostle said, three times I prayed that it should leave me. Child of God, you know that Apostle Paul was a man of God, an anointed man of God. And if he prayed three times that some, some calamity, some disaster should leave him, you know that it would leave him. But the Bible said this time it did not leave him. Three times he prayed, let this thing leave me. It did not leave him. And what was the answer of God? God said, my grace is sufficient. Today, as we journey with God, I want to talk to you about the sustaining grace of God. 
the sustaining grace of God. There is something called grace that sustains the believer. That enables the believer to endure hard times. That enables the believer to go through the shadow of death without being swallowed up. There is something called grace that enables the believer to enter the fire of Nebuchadnezzar and come out without being burnt. There is something called grace that enables the believer to enter the den of lions and come out without being devoured. It is the sustaining grace. And that's what I'm talking to you about. God said, my grace is sufficient. Beloved, I want to draw parallels between the life of the apostle, what happened to him in the scripture we read, and what is happening in the world today. In the world today. We know that there is a pandemic called COVID-19 that has taken over the world. Between March and now in June, Many schools have been closed all over the world. People have stayed at home several times. Many, many, many people have died, including health workers. Is it because the world has become puffed up? Is it because of the pride of the world that the Lord has allowed this messenger of the enemy to torment the people of the world and to destroy many innocent lives? Is it because we have become puffed up? Is it because of our pride? Is it because we have neglected the creator, the maker? And God wants to teach us a lesson. Why am I saying this, beloved? Because many people have prayed from, from Asia to America to Europe to Africa. Believers have fasted. We have cried to God. We were believing God that by now everything would be totally over. But as we speak, we still have cases, people being, be, being tested positive and so on and so forth. Could it be that it is because we have been puffed up? But today, even if that is the case, and God has permitted. Why do I say God has permitted? Because I have a theology that tells me that God is sovereign and he has power over this universe and he is not an absentee God. He is still in charge of this world. He is still in charge of this universe. And so as a child of God, if something happens to me, I know that if God did not permit it, it would not have happened because he is my power. He is my grace. He sustains me. He keeps me. He has authority to stop this pandemic. But if it has continued up to this time, after we have prayed and fasted, then may Maybe God is speaking to us. But today I want to encourage you. Every child of God watching me today, I want to encourage you. Like the apostle, God is telling us that even in the midst of this pandemic, even though we have prayed more than three times, we have fasted as nations. We have prayed. Governments have declared national days of fasting and prayer. And so on and so forth. And for some people, their jobs have been, have been lost. Some people, they have received pay cuts. Some people are confused. Businesses have not moved on. Some people have lost contracts. Some people have lost customers. People have lost many, many, many valuable things because of what has happened. But today God says that in all this, my grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient. As a child of God, Maybe you are one of those people who has, is asking, what next for me as a human being, as a believer? What is next for me? For my business, what is next? Because everything is at a standstill. Or at least it is not moving fast, fast, as fast as I wanted it to. What is next for me? There are many people who are living in uncertainties. Because these are unfamiliar grounds. We have never walked this path before. We hear of certain pandemics that happened so many years ago that those who experienced it, probably none would be alive today. This is new for the entire world. But today I came with 
God's word for somebody that in all these turbulence, in all these trying moments, in all these difficulties, God says, I have not left you. My grace is sufficient. Because when Paul prayed three times and there was no answer, as a human being, Paul would begin to feel that God had left him. Paul would begin to feel that God had disappointed him. Paul would begin to feel that he had lost his anointing. Paul would begin to feel that the grace of God is no more available to work in his life. But God showed up and said, Paul, I know what you are going through. I know that you are being tormented by this messenger of Satan. I know what you have, you have passed through. I know you have been quarantined. I know your job. You have lost a job. I know you have lost income. I know that things have not been the same. I have not left you. My grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. Is there somebody watching me who is thinking that God is not there? That God is not listening to me? That God is not hearing me enough? That God is not moving in my favor? Today, he says that my grace is sufficient for you. There are many, many people who have been through trying times in this season. Especially in the first quarter of 2020. Many, many people have been through trying times. Even apart from the COVID-19. Trying moments in your marital life. In your family life. Trying moments. But today God says his grace is sufficient for you. Hallelujah. And that grace is what is going to take you through these moments. That grace is going to sustain you. That grace is going to keep you. You shall not fall. Your faith shall not fail because his grace is sufficient. Beloved, again, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, still 7 to 10. And let me read verse 9 and 10 again. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness and then the apostle said therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me for the sake of Christ then I am content with weaknesses insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities for when I am weak then I am strong beloved in our weakness when we think that there is no power available for us. The Bible says that then the power of God is made manifest. What does this mean? This means that every child of God who decides not to rely on your own power, on your own strength, but admits your weakness and your frailty as a human being, if you can admit that God, I have no inherent power, Power. I'm only a human being. I'm flesh. Oh God, and I am blood. I cannot do it of my own strength. And so let your power be made manifest in me. Then the Bible says that when you are weak, then God is strong and his strength is made perfect in you. Child of God, God is saying that if you can acknowledge them, that he is all powerful and you are weak. If you can acknowledge that you are a weaker vessel and God is all powerful, then what is going to happen is that his strength is going to inundate your body, your soul and your spirit and his strength is going to be manifested in your weakness so that even in your weakness, the strength of God will be manifested but if you think that you are strong in yourself then you limit the power of God and therefore his strength cannot be made perfect in you when I am weak then he is strong it is an acknowledgement that my strength cannot take me through my power cannot take me through I need an external source. I need another power. Three times the apostle prayed. He was anointed. He was a prayerful person. Remember, it is this apostle that said, pray without season. It is this apostle that told the Corinthian church that I pray in tongues more than all of you. He was a prayerful person. But this time, 
he realized that there was something higher than the prayers he was making. That even when he had prayed, something had to happen. The grace of God had to be in manifestation. Oh, glory to Jesus. And so God said, my power is made available. When you are weak, then my power will be made manifest in your life. Is there somebody today who is thinking that you can run this race with your strength? Is there somebody today who is thinking that you can, you can do it all by yourself? You have tried all the skills that you have. You have tried all your academic prowess. You have tried all your intellectual directives. They have not worked. It's time for somebody to say, God, I need your power to be made manifest in my life. And I believe that that is what the Lord is telling this world, telling the leaders of the nations of the world. We have tried with all your technological prowess, they won't work. You have tried with all your political science acumen, they, they, it is not working. It is time for leaders to say, we need God's power. We need God's hand. Lord, we are weak. We are limited. We are human beings. We cannot do it. We need you. We need you. And when we call upon God, he will answer. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He will answer. Child of God, today, I pray that you will accept that your own power cannot see you through. When you accept your weakness and your limitation and acknowledge the power of God, then his power will be made manifest in your life. Hallelujah. Nyameba enna emra enyo nyame tu kwen. Ye wo bibia ye frano se aduma e so ye mu. E kura ye na de tu anamo. O nyame akoa po obi enim no. Un to me preach messages mienu miensa enna ya won bo po din e wo. Won't you mean cast all your Christian winning poor? O ye, yes, I am why I am poor. O yamini pack a seer pa. Now see any mean fit ya, sir. O sian de or papa be a friend of Gamalia and Nasse. Not what being ye pa or your Pharisee mu Pharisee. O nimimrano. Now o yini yan in penny fiasono. O ya genie se A dear your friend is a Christian or Belquetia. No be biara or so ye Christo ni no obe boa amaya china to a fiasse. Now no Bible say emra wo si Stephen abuono poor ewo ho or jijin krofon tadi ese fawata di ma mikita ne tu me tu buoni ye. Now so debi na oko Damascus akwa chichi a Christo for en ora ni shiano mesre ra ni se en ne ora Yesu on shia obi. Ewa wo demu bebi a wo te bebi a wo da bebi a wo shami bebi a wo tiemi ora yesu onye ni huwe di nchila wo nyami a samse ora yesu ye ni huwe di chila po three days nana ni huna adie nanso nyami a kwa nani a skopo mpaye malo nani biye ye odomu kosunya adie kwa bini hon kwa bo mpaye nyo nyami nyam mpuni mpu ena afe ofiti a sese o ke nyami a sem o che nyami a sem or ye nyam ye juma. Na nyam ye juma su de ye nimi ye ye. Te tin sorry bebre. To test of the New Testament on a troye. Bebre na a troye no wo prison. On one kase di ni wa dance ye. O si ye si mi abuo. Ye de nadia abo me. O si mada e pun fin fini. E wiyani anajo. E pun fin fini. O non kwa o da e pun mu in fin fini. On one cassana numasem, Yamini Bacas, see a pa. O bomb pie and uncensor, and he see. O yet, Juma, and a dark row. Or say, Be be a bunny nipper, Jemo. Or yaw be a bunny nipper, Jemo. O yap pains be one in nipper, Jemo. 
A friend is a messenger of Satan. I say in Kasebi, and an Ewo woman. So in Kasebi, you need theologians are going to talk. But any one who hear me, say ye yari fesika yari bi, say ye how bi, say ye tibi ana bi bi koswo ni ni pedema na enye. And a pause or bomb pie, or bomb pie, or bomb pie. Say I can't be a bomb pie. Unimum pie mon Saint Paul. I say me bomb pie and prince. I ready. Ye a day free me swear. I didn't say uncle. Ah, Paul to me casa. A man sent to I didn't say uncle. Into Paul, Jenny Juan, I say ready a day. When you miss a Paul. Madum, a dosum mau, some medo be fem. Yamaba me person, I would tell you, sir. On Yamiatum dosum mau, on Yamiatum wahoma, a dosum, near who come not over fem. And I may say, me person, me de poor, semi at Tunia, El Cosu, we ask him. Especially from the beginning of March, Ebesi Samrim, we are seeing a wave. Coronavirus are taking over. We are seeing now. Ebe to me a basem. We are seeing Yahuma swanti ana. Ebe to me a basem. Onyame pesa o kembi bichrayem. Say ye ye she she ni ye too known. Ene se ni ye huwa wa ya onse yani ya yani ya. Ebe to me a basem. Onyame pesa o kachem musa she mu ye ubiao mu ye nipa. Mina miye nya mina mufa me muhun tome so. Adentina me kasa. Coronavirus iba ye. Ya bompa ye. Ya ye fasting. Ama mbiye declare national day of fasting and prayer. Gana ha ye ye bi. Ya bompa ye. Ya ye fasting. Ya gusu bompa ye. Ah, erati fiti about February. And dina ha eba. Eh, ya se ya ye rajun mu. Adi yin fri ho kra 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 ma yen koe. Am I into me? Did you ma as a CD? I didn't hear. Sir, coronavirus, I buy it to Sam. A torn in our flesh. Schools are closed down. And sorry, we break closed down. I buy a torn in our flesh. A dear no, your maker. A bean, your maple saw can be bitch. We are saying, Yamaya Honso do them. A bean, your maple saw can be bitch. I saw for Yamaya Honso do them. A bean, your maple saw can be bitch. Christopher, Yam fire won't to a rather so or say near Cosono. Oya ho hwe nyi yi nanso me nya menti me wo ho bibi ka nya me se emfa ho sa ho hiehi ano da so ho emfa ho se o ha ano da so ho madum e do so e ma o enti nya me ba ene me pese ho ti ase se a ho hiehi bi a wo kom no sa period e bi ma djuma e ko e bi mu koye djuma ya mo mo half salary Ebi mukra inim say eh adi chama deni ebeye because ebi mukra kasa ah se sana tidi a se juma ifone kromo dosu ndo because ebi kofi kwa juma ne gusuko so ebi kwa ni ebe yinko fuedi eh adi na ebe uncertain things ne dosu na zonya me se adum bi oh na madum no be somu mu adum no dimu be cha ni ame ba oh how ni amani ebi a wukomo. Any dear Samre COVID nineteen dear bro, any or how I aka a busiania warrior moon sum, any near metatisa, or nyamese a dum bioho, nasa dum no basoye mu at the etra, yen yo nyamia kwan to him, se bi bi atu ye, na ye bom paye, na sa dienu em free yan swa, nyame ba mamma wa be mumbu, se en ko yem pa a dum no at the wobe fem, hallelujah. Emra Shadrag, Meshach, and Abednego, Elko to a Gemuno. I didn't think I knew me and Doom Channel. I didn't think I knew me one Doom Channel. Now the book had never said, Hey, a giant son and a giant doom. I didn't think I knew me and Yasa, a Toda or Yanosa, a Toda or Chain Mayoko to a Genum, nor the Alfim. I didn't think I Daniel, Edu Jatabumu, and can you remember to me a Kumkum in Jatanina, and son of Daniel, a Druho, now so called Tuomo. I told her, Nyame my FM. Nene, I summon Nyame person on our channel. Say, We need to cry. I do be a wa, a beso mudi wetcha. Men through a do be a wa. Nene, me do Nyame some who show and cry, say. Me name near our FM. Near our come. And in your dow in him. But 2020 near Bessie Pia. There is a sufficient grace for you.
There is a grace that will keep you, that will sustain you. It does not matter whether the thorn is in your flesh or wherever the thorn is. It does not matter. Whatever it is, the grace of God will sustain you. Today, I charge you not to give up. I charge you to continue in prayer. I charge you to keep your faith. I charge you not to lose your hope because there's a sustaining grace that will take us through. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. There is a grace that will sustain us. There is a grace that will sustain us. Beloved, I want you to ponder over God's word and begin to pray now and say, Lord, whatever I'm going through, the challenges, the uncertainties, the unfamiliar grounds, I do not know what is ahead of me, but I call for sustaining grace. I call for sustaining grace. I call for grace that will take me through this season. I call for grace that will take me through 2020. I am not aware what is ahead in July, August, September, October, November, December. But I call for grace. At the beginning of this year, God told us in this church, Trinity Congregation of the Presby Church here in Kutinsi, Ghana, God told us at the beginning of the year that it's our year of strength and courage. We did not know what was about to happen to us. We did not know what would happen in the world. But God said, it's our year of strength and courage. Now we understand that this is indeed our year of strength and courage. This is the time to, to put yourself together to marshal all the strength but not of your own strength. The strength of the living God. It's time to be courageous and walk in the power of God. When you are weak, then his power is made manifest in your life. I pray for you. Even as you continue to pray, please wherever you are watching me, begin to pray. Don't wait for the end of the service. Begin to pray now. God, I need your sustaining grace. God, I need your sustaining power. See me through the rest of this year. In the name of Jesus, even if a thorn has come to torment me, Lord, take me through. This thorn that is tormenting the world, this COVID-19, for me and my family, Lord, take us through. Take us through. For when we are weak, then your grace, your power is made manifest in our lives. Maybe so tia se samri ane se so fiti ase bompa. Men chance as some nube ye. Bompa is a radi aduma etumi kura wama. Aduma e soye mu fatome. Shego me so. A fi fiti ase ye nim ne be sinsu nyame katle se e ye din shene nam ye afi. Nyame ba me show se men jam pa ibom. Me show se men tu uji di enkene. Me show se men tu eni da swan chene. So mu din. When you are not saying that, or do be cha, or do be fem, or no, you are not oba, and it's some some crunk on them. I rather me bomb pie mo be a wet tea me no shame. Yes, rather doom ni mo bruno na odi ya be cha di a fem. I feel 2020. Oh, how ni a mani ni na? Fire fem. I will yes to them. I pray for everybody watching me, listening to me. In the name of Jesus, receive sufficient grace. To take you through these trying moments of your life. Be sustained in the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus even now and forever. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. And grant you his shalom. Even now and forever. God richly bless you. Amen. Thank you.